What is up guys, welcome to another little tutorial. Uh, today I thought I'd go over OBS and how I capture my screen with OBS and things like uh, my build guides and other things. Um, you might be wondering right now, well how the hell are you capturing your screen if you're not using OBS? I am using another program, but uh, it's a demo and it, it kind of sucks and it doesn't do everything. Like OBS can do gameplay, can do local recording, live streaming, audio recording, you name it, OBS does it, it's free, it's sweet, and I love this program so much. You can't get perfectly lossless recordings like you can uh, with something like DxTory. You can get some really high quality game recordings with DxTory, but when it comes to like capturing my screen and things like that, OBS is so freaking handy, and uh, I highly recommend you guys check it out. So I might cut this up into a few different videos just to keep it a little more simple so you can come back and be like, okay, that video does that. Just a, a little bit easier on my end too. So um, I think in this first one, I'm just gonna go over some of the settings that I use and some tabs, and I've set my entire OBS back to default uh, more or less, and uh, I'll go over how I set up those recordings and everything, and yeah. So let's get started. Obviously, links down in the description for uh, OBS and uh, forms are really helpful if you, you get confused on what a bunch of these buttons are. Um, there's a lot of threads that will explain what each thing does and a lot of it depends whether you're recording locally or live streaming so keep that in mind when you're reading through the forms make sure you're reading a thread that's specific to uh, what you're actually doing don't be reading stuff on live streaming when you're trying to record and vice versa it will be very confusing but I'm gonna try to simplify it for you guys okay let's get into it so Right off the bat, this is obviously OBS, and there's a few things you can see right here. So we have scenes, sources, and then our settings, recording, a bunch of stuff that probably is pretty self-explanatory. Obviously, this is our microphone volume. You can kind of change it here. This is our uh, in-game, our, our computer sound, so we can adjust that right here. I usually leave, leave it around 50 and 100. So add scene, we're just going to right-click in the scenes, and I'll just make this one called test hit OK, and then our sources are going to be what we're actually going to capture. So as you can see, we have a few different options here. Window capture, monitor, image, blah, 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 blah. We're just going to use monitor capture for today, and uh, I'll get into maybe some, like, adding webcam and stuff. So this will just be monitor capture. We'll just call it monitor. I'm going to capture monitor one. I do have two monitors, but uh, if I want to capture what's on in front of me right now, and this will depend how you have your monitor set up in Windows, so just uh, mess around with it. It should be pretty easy. So we're just going to capture our whole monitor. The subregion is something that's really handy. If you guys watch my uh, chopper tutorials, I used a, a region selection to capture that little keyboard program. Basically, I just used something like this and captured that keyboard like that. So that's super handy, uh, but that's a little more advanced. I guess I'll get into that into the in the next part, and that is really helpful when it comes to streaming and stuff. So right now we're just going to capture our whole monitor. So if I hit preview stream here, obviously we're going to get some some uh, streamception there, but it's just capturing our screen and our screen and our screen and our screen. So that's uh, how we would basically set up a scene and everything like that. If we wanted to add a webcam, we would go down to video capture device, and I'll just call this one webcam. And then I have the Microsoft Live Cam Studio. You can live stream through DxTory and stuff like into that, like I said, later down the road. It's a little more complex, but it's still pretty easy to set up. Uh, for a, a face cam stuff, I just use something like 640 by 480. If I'm doing a full screen recording with my webcam, then I'll turn it up to 1080p. But there's no reason to capture your screen and your webcam in 1080p when your, your uh, webcam is just going to be a small little box. I kind of went over this when my... Uh, how to add face cam tutorial. But anyway, that's gonna be our very basics of adding a webcam. That's all I use personally. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit preview stream and I'm gonna take off monitor capture. So you can see my webcam is up here uh, and you can go into edit scene here and you can see this red box is highlighted and then you can actually move around your webcam and I might do something like this and then add it down here and then I'll turn on my monitor capture. So say if I was doing a build guide, this is how I would set that up. So rather than looking at that streamception, we're just gonna turn that off. So uh, now onto the settings tab, how you actually set it up to record locally, because obviously um, OBS is probably more well known for being a live stream program, so there's a few things that you have to set up uh, quite a bit differently. So general tab, don't really need to change anything there. Uh, encoding, this is where uh, things really differ. So we're gonna put the quality balance on 10. We are not gonna use a constant bit rate, that's for a live streaming more. 
Um, we're gonna set the max bitrate to a thousand. This isn't really going to matter because we're using a custom buffer size of zero. And essentially when you do that, it tells OBS, use whatever you need. That's basically like setting a variable uh, bit rate that OBS can just go uh, as high as it wants, more or less. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna set that on zero. And then audio, I like to keep it at 256. I think it sounds a little bit better personally. And 44.1, just because it keeps the file sizes smaller and the difference between 48 and 44. One is negligible when it gets to YouTube. So here is where we're gonna set up our file output. This is probably gonna be set to something like a uh, live stream where this is, I'll get into this like I said again, but you can see a lot of things are different. It, the, OBS is kind of handy and it's gotten a lot better over the years, uh, over the year I guess that uh, I've been using it. And um, it's kind of gotten these warnings like what you should do if you're um, going to be live streaming and it'll try to guide you in the right direction. So since we're not live streaming, we don't have to worry about that. We're just gonna go to file output only. Obviously we can set up our uh, our file path to go wherever we want and you know pick your pick your folder and everything. Uh, hotkeys, that's pretty self-explanatory. And it's gonna prompt you to save your settings. So um, in the video tab, I'm just gonna use 1920 by 1080. So if I'm just capturing my screen, that's its native resolution. I'm not gonna worry about changing anything up too much. So uh, obviously if we're live streaming, we would probably, I would downscale it to like 720p or something like that. So uh, if you are using Windows 7, you're gonna have to disable Arrow because Windows 7 does not get along with OBS and having Arrow on, it'll make your your recordings laggy and choppy and I don't even know if it will let you to be honest. So just keep in mind, that's why on a lot of my tutorials you see that like uh, basic Windows background, it's because I had to disable Arrow and I just turned it to Windows 7 basic or whatever. So. Just keep that in mind, um, you are gonna have to turn that off. Obviously, Windows 8 doesn't have Arrow, so uh, it's not even an option. Uh, audio tab, this is pretty easy. Um, the That's my sound card, like I've said before, the or DigiDesign inbox. And uh, yeah, I use the default for my, um, my system audio, so that's anything that's coming out of your computer, like Spotify, um, then that's record. And then uh, my microphone, Pretty simple. If you are having problems with your microphone being out of sync, you can uh, add or subtract uh, some offset time. I just added a millisecond. It seems to help me personally. This is obviously going to be completely dependent on uh, if you're having issues or not. So pretty simple. You can also add a push to talk function, but I don't see that to be very useful. Um, now this is where things get a little overwhelming probably. Um, so basically how I'm going to set it up is as simple as possible. There's a lot of things you can change in here that may or may not affect, uh, and help you in different ways, but for local recordings, we don't have to change too much. So, uh, I'm going to leave everything. This is the default, uh, page, how it is right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put on a constant frame rate. So it will enable, it'll resample frames if it does dip below basically. Uh, and you probably heard resampling is bad, resampling is bad, but when it comes to dragging a file into Vegas, it, Vegas likes constant frame rate, trust me. It will be a lot more stable that, that way. So, uh, and another thing I do is use a custom 264 encoder, and this is basically your quality, more or less. Uh, anything from zero, which is, the, it's called lossless, zero is, but honestly, it's not. Uh, to me, it's still a little bit grainy. This isn't gonna be perfect quality like I said in the beginning, but anyway, um, CRF of 15, mess with that number uh, anywhere from zero to 20 and uh, see what works best for you. So that's all we're gonna change on that tab and we're just gonna hit apply and hit okay. So once we have all that set up, we're ready to go. All you would do is just get your monitor capture, your webcam, whatever, hit start recording, go away, do your video and whatnot. And thanks for checking out this one. I will catch you guys in part two and we will go over some more in-depth uh, bits of OBS. Thanks for watching guys, see ya.